Hello again, it's Mark here from GrimTreeGames.com, online game store and blog. Um, and tonight we're going to do an unboxing slash overview, crunch it together into one meaty episode of Infinite City from AED Games. We've sent over a V copy again because they're awesome. Um, and here it is. I have a style, it's a bit like um, if you ever played the PC game Bioshock, like 1920s style, it's a bit like that, futuristic. Um, very good, I like it. It doesn't matter about really because I don't know what's inside. So, we shall crack us open. So, it is for two to six players, which is good. Six players, big part again, excellent. 45 minutes playing time, again, pretty good, not too long. Let's see what's inside. Now, <clears throat> I've got a bit of mouth flu and a head cold. So the new game smell might be affected drastically, so I'll just have to cope. It's still there, but somewhat subdued due to snot. But never mind, let's switch inside. So, now, um, there's not as many bits to this really, it's generally just tiles. Lots and lots of tiles. Tiles. I'll put them out for you so you can have a look. So these are all the locations of Infinite City. The idea of the game, and we'll go through it in the overview properly, is you basically build a city. And as you go along, you've got to claim parts of the city. At the end of the game, the more parts you've claimed, the more points you get, and the more likely it is that you win. Nice and easy. There's a lot of cards. Hold on, Lola. So, what's it? Yeah, there's a lot of cards here. Oh my word. Get the picture. Lots of cards. Um, so that's that. We've got a nice little separator here. Tokens. So six players, six colours, I imagine. Ooh, there we go. That's it. Unboxing done. Um, so what we'll do now is I will try and retrieve the instructions. There you go. So we like simple games, yes, because they're quick and easy. And uh, new people can start playing, get in the game, good stuff. So, this may define a simple game. So, that four pages, and one of those, I think, is the, con is the credits. So, very simple, very good. So, what we'll do now, we'll pop all these out, we'll set it up, and we'll show you how it plays. So, I will see you in five minutes. Hello, we're back. Um, so, we've opened it, we've popped all the tiles out, we've had a bit of a go. All the time to play it now, hopefully. So, um, as you can see, there's millions of tiles. Um, this is the deck, it's huge, it's like a big building in itself. Um, just so you know, the card is very durable. Which is good, because you're going to get a lot of play out of it, hopefully. Um, so, we start off with the beginnings of the city, of Infinite City. And they're all faced out to begin with. As the game progresses, they'll get flipped over. Don't worry about that right now. You start off with a hand of five cards. Um, so they're also they're hidden to you. Um, the cards are, and we'll go down to your deck here, imaginary viewer player. Um, they're basically buildings that are around the city that you're going to play. Um, they've all got the name of the building, if you can focus in on that, I'm not sure. Um, a description at the bottom as to what happens when you place it. Okay. Some have got numbers on top as well, which are relevant to scoring points at the end. And if you stay right there, there are some that are uh, got a silver border around, which are a bit more relevant and a bit more important for scoring points. I don't know if you, uh, hopefully you got that. We'll annotate it in if you didn't focus. Um, uh, and th those are the cards. That's the components of the game. Um, you've also got tokens. You've each got a limited amount of tokens. So, the turn. Very simple. You look at your card and you play one. When you play one, it's going to be adjacent to any card that's already down, not diagonally. Um, it's going to be uh, straight up against it. Uh, you play the card, you pick a token, you put it on the card, and you do what it says on the card. I didn't look at this before playing it, which is potentially a mistake, and I wouldn't advise it as a tactic when playing the game. Um, uh, so that's probably completely useless, by the way. Okay, well, I'll swap it out. So I'm going to play this one. Factory. 
After filling your hand this turn, draw and keep five more tiles. So, once you've played a card and you've put your token down, you draw up back to five. But that card lets me take five more, which is good because it's a lot it's a, more options. One, two, three, four, five. So other players have got five cards, I've got ten, which means I've got more chance of having something awesome, which is good. Um, so, that's my turn. It's the next person's turn to do something similar. You go right. Now, you win the game and you score points by trying to have your tokens on as many adjacent city spaces as possible. Um, so what happens is, as the game progresses, people place cards, I won't follow what's on the card there for the time being because it's just an example. People place cards, the city grows, um, there you go. City grows, and you want to get as many tokens down as you can. But most of the cards have abilities that undo or make life difficult for the people trying to place cards and get tokens next to each other. They move tokens around, or they pull tokens back, or um, they move tiles around. Um, so it becomes very strategic as to what you place and when. There's a bit of look, you know, there's the look factor in what cards you get. Um, and it can be quite random from that aspect, but if you play the right card at the right time, then you're on to a winner. Um, so, as some examples, some of the cards that we've seen, just to give you a bit of a gameplay example as to how it will work out. Um, so, this is quite good. Police HQ. When this tile is placed, all players must immediately put a token on it. So, let's say I place that. And I put my token on it anyway, because you always put a token on the card when you place the card. Super. Now, the end of the game arises when um, you've placed all your tokens. Well, when, when one person has placed all the tokens. As soon as that person has run out of tokens, you go round. If anybody does have no tokens left there, skip. You go round, you have one last turn, um, uh, and then that's the end of the game. So, what this could let you do, if you wanted to win the game, um, and if you wanted to drive... Um, or maybe you know you had loads of tokens left but you were winning and you wanted to drive the end of the game you place that, everybody puts a token on there if somebody only had one left then you've scuppered them so that's good, good tactics there um, what else is there? construction site, play another tile so you can bang that down it's surrounded in silver which is important, I'll tell you why in a minute put the token on um, and you can play another tile now when you play a tile from your hand you always get to put a token on it. Play the tile. Can put put it wherever I want. There. Put a token on it, which is good. Um, if you have an ability on a card that lets you put a token anywhere, you can put them on these face down cards that are here. And again, when you flip it, <clears throat> um, uh, sorry, when you put a token on it, you flip it, put the token on it, do what it says on the card. Brilliant. If you ever put a token by if a card instructs you to put a token on another card that already has a token and flipped, you don't do what it says on the card. It's just about getting your resources down there. That's all it's about. Um, those are the little nitpicky rules of the game, really. Um, and I think those are pretty much the rules on how to play. It's very simple. Once you have got to the end of the game, um, either by running out of tokens, or there's another way you can, one of the cards is a, <laughs> a power station. I want to zoom into here. Um, uh, the instructions, uh, tile instructions cannot move or otherwise affect this tile and adjacent tiles or tokens um, attached to any of these tiles. So that's, that's, that's a big deal. And um, if that goes down, it locks the area down, which is good. Um, but when you get five of those in play, end of the game. So if you've got one in your hand and you want to end the game, um, lay that down. Or if you're looking at somebody else's hand and they don't want to end the game, they might, they might be holding on to it, but there's cards that lets you look in the hand and pull a card out. So, um, so that's good. Um, so, end of the game, working out points. Every three tokens you have on the board that are adjacent to each other <coughs> scores you three points. That gets no points, that gets three points. If you have any more adjacent, those are extra points. So that would score me five points. It's jolly good. If somebody else has a token on there, doesn't matter. Just because I because I have a token on there, I'm controlling it. it doesn't matter about anybody else. Um, if 
so you work that out, so it's five points there, you'd go across all the tiles, because it gets big this game, you go across all the tiles, work out your points. Anywhere that you have that's got a little number on the top, those are extra points, that'd be one point there, one point there. And then, you look at the tiles that have the silver board around, that we showed you, um, you count up how many of those you own. Um, and the person that owns the most of these, so say I have five, somebody else owns four, you get points equal time when you want, so five points. So, that's about it. You um, play the cards, you try and screw the people over, um, you try and get your tokens close to each other, um, get the cards with the points on, get the silver cards, um, and win the game. And it, it, it looks, looks pretty good. Um, the, the, the mechanics and the, um, uh, the interesting gameplay comes out of the descriptions on the cards, and as you can see, there's millions of them, and there's, there's not a lot of repetition in there, they're all quite different. So, to give you a proper overview, really, would involve sitting down and playing with you, which would be awesome at some time, um, but um, uh, as it stands, um, those are the rules of the game. So thank you very much for watching, um, uh, come on to the website, this is available on the website on www.grimtreegames.com in the store, um, you can follow us on Twitter, uh, on Facebook and come say hello on the forum, but for now, goodbye.